Welcome to CARB's tester training for California's Clean Truck Check. This module will cover the requirements regarding the Vehicle Emissions Control Equipment Inspection, commonly known as the Visual Inspection component of Clean Truck Check. And again, the information presented in this module is meant as a guide and is not all-inclusive, nor does it replace or supersede any requirements within Clean Truck Check. Your objectives for this module are to learn how to perform a vehicle emissions control equipment inspection or visual inspection and how it fits within clean truck check. Some of the most important information covered in this module includes why is this inspection needed as a part of a vehicle's emissions compliance test in clean truck check? Which vehicles are subject to this inspection? How to perform the visual inspection and how to submit the visual inspection to CARB through your CTC Viz tester account. Clean Truck Check requires all vehicles subject to the program that are not equipped with onboard diagnostic systems to undergo a visual inspection as part of the emissions compliance test. Non-OBD vehicles include those equipped with 2012 model year or older diesel engines or diesel hybrid systems, 2017 model year or older alternative fuel engines or alternative fuel hybrid systems, and vehicles subject to the program that are equipped with an off-road engine. An on-road vehicle equipped with an off-road engine is a rare situation where a vehicle manufacturer has received pre-approval by a CARB due to a unique vehicle configuration. Only clean truck check credential testers are permitted to do visual inspections and submit those test results to CARB. Clean Truck Check credentialed testers are individuals who have successfully completed the full Clean Truck Check tester training package, passed the associated exam, and for diesel vehicles, have obtained the proper smoke test equipment to complete the inspection. Additional Clean Truck Check requirements, such as when compliance tests are required, the frequency of inspection requirements, and other related regulatory requirements can be found in the regulatory module in this Clean Truck Check Tester Training Package. So why does Clean Truck Check require visual inspections? The majority of PM2.5 and NOx emissions from the heavy-duty vehicle sector are caused by excess emissions due to malfunctioning or tampered emission control components. Proper installation, operation, and maintenance of emission control components are critical to maintaining low emission levels throughout a vehicle's operating life. These inspections help identify missing, modified, defective, disconnected, and tampered emission control components that lead to these large excess emissions. Minimizing the operation of vehicles with improperly installed emissions control components is critical to reducing excess emissions from the heavy duty sector. The Clean Truck Check visual inspection includes three main components the credential tester must complete. These include recording vehicle and tester information, checking the inspected vehicle's emissions control label to ensure it is legible and to determine the emissions control components required on the vehicle, and checking that the required emissions control equipment is present and in working order. We will expand more on each of these three components later in this training. As part of this training module, we will walk through the main requirements of performing the inspection and reporting the inspection results. This initial information falls into two main categories. One, the vehicle and engine information, which includes vehicle identification number, or VIN, license plate, engine make and model year, and odometer mileage. Two, the vehicle owner information, which includes name and contact details of the owner. Upon completion of reporting the initial vehicle inspection information, the credential tester can move forward to perform the visual component of the inspection itself. The clean truck check tester must now check the emissions control label of the inspected vehicle to determine what emissions control components are required on the vehicle. 
The emissions control label can be found on the engine, as shown in this picture here to the right. Note that the location of the emissions control label on the engine and its format may differ by engine manufacturer. The credential tester must verify that the label is present and legible on the vehicle's engine. If the label is not present on the vehicle's engine, or is not legible, the vehicle shall fail the inspection. Without proper identification of what emissions control components are required on the vehicle, it is not possible to fully complete the inspection, and the vehicle cannot pass the inspection. Owners of vehicles with missing or illegible labels must work directly with the vehicle's manufacturer to obtain a replacement label. Please refer to CARB's website for more information on emissions control labels, including images of example labels. Here, you can see an example of what an emissions control label may look like. The emissions control components required on the vehicle are listed as acronyms on the label as highlighted in the picture. The clean truck check tester must report the emissions control components required on the vehicle. For components not listed on the ECL, the clean truck check tester must report NA or not applicable. For components that may be listed on the emissions control label but aren't already included in the vehicle emissions control equipment checklist, the credential tester must report these additional components and the inspection results. On this slide, we list potential emissions control components that may be required to be inspected. The abbreviations for these emissions control components that would be included on the emissions control label are also listed here. Emissions control components that are more commonly found in heavy duty vehicles are bolded in this table to provide you with a sense of which components you can expect to more readily find while performing these inspections. This table can be used as a reference tool while inspecting the emissions control label to help identify which emissions control components are required to be inspected on the vehicle in question. A clean truck check tester must visually inspect each component listed on the emissions control label and ensure it is present and in its proper configuration according to the specifications of the manufacturer, ensure there is no evidence of tampering, determine proper configuration of each emissions control component via reliable published material such as a repair manual or specific engine manufacturer sources, report the condition of the component whether it is in proper configuration, missing, modified, disconnected, or defective, now for emission control components not listed on the emissions control label of the vehicle in question, report the part as not applicable. Proper configuration is a condition where the emissions component is installed and operating as specified by the original manufacturer. Missing simply refers to the required part not being present on the vehicle being inspected. A modified condition refers to a component that has been physically or functionally altered from the manufacturer's specifications or has been altered or replaced with a part that is not legal for use on vehicles in California. A disconnected condition refers to a component that is present but has essentially been unplugged or altered so that it cannot properly function. For example, a hose, wire, or belt required for the component to perform correctly has been disconnected. Finally, a defective condition refers to an obvious degradation condition that can be noticed during the inspection that will inhibit the emissions component from properly performing its normal operations. For example, a turbocharger visibly leaking oil or an EGR valve that cannot open. The tester must report the condition of each required emissions control component in the visual inspection submission. More specifically, the tester must note if the component is in its proper configuration, missing, modified, disconnected, or defective. All required emissions control components must be properly configured for the vehicle in question to pass the visual inspection. Any vehicle with a missing, modified, disconnected, or defective emissions control component will fail the inspection. Pre-2007 model year engines may be equipped with a Verified Diesel Emissions Control Strategy, or VDECS. 
VDECS are retrofit diesel particulate filters verified by CARB as a diesel emission control strategy. These VDECS are required to have a label affixed to the VDECS and the engine near the ECL. On the right hand side of the slide, you can see pictures of VDECS and the VDECS label. As part of this inspection, the tester must report pertinent information about the VDECS installed on the vehicle in CTC Viz, including the name of the manufacturer, product serial number, and the VDECS family name. The tester shall also inspect the condition of the VDECS in the same way every other required emissions control component is inspected and report the findings in the VDECS section of the vehicle emissions control equipment submission. If a VDECS is installed on the vehicle being inspected, the credentialed tester must verify that the VDECS is verified for the engine by checking CARB's retrofit device verification database, which we'll discuss how to use on the next two slides. Note that it is illegal to use a retrofit DPF that has not been verified or use a VDECS that is not verified for the engine you are inspecting. Those vehicles will fail the emissions compliance test and may be cited for tampering by CARB enforcement. We'll now talk about how to verify that a VDEX is applicable to the engine in the vehicle being inspected. The easiest way to do this is to access the Retrofit Device Verification Database from CARB's homepage. From the CARB homepage, enter the phrase Retrofit Device Verification Database in the search tool located at the upper right. Locate the link with the same name in the search results. It is often the first or second result. Alternatively, you may enter the link address directly into your browser to go to the Retrofit Device Verification Database. You may land on a Disclaimer and Terms of Use page. If you do, check the box and click Agree to access the VDEX database. As a clean truck check tester, you do not have the responsibilities of a vehicle owner or installer as described on this page. Checking the box and clicking agree is only to allow access to the VDEX database. You will see a screen that looks like the top picture on this slide. From the menu under the Browse by Diesel Emission Control System field, Choose the Diesel Emission Control Strategy family name that is located on the VDEX label on the engine near the ECL or located on the VDEX itself. The second picture on this slide shows an example of the Diesel Emission Control Strategy family name. After you click on the proper VDEX, you will see a screen with a list of engine manufacturers. Click on the manufacturer of the engine and the vehicle being inspected. The next screen will present all the engines by engine family name for which the VDEX is verified. Check the list of engine family names shown in the rectangle on this slide to ensure the engine family name from the ECL is included in this list. If it is, you'll report that in the inspection submission in response to the question on the applicability of the VDEX. The credentialed Clean Truck Check tester must report the visual inspection information through their CTC Viz account at cleantruckcheck.arb.ca.gov. For instructions on how to report non OBD test results, please view the video on the Clean Truck Check program page. After successfully completing the Clean Truck Check visual inspection and the smoke test discussed in Module 4, if applicable, it is now time to report and submit the results. To CARB. It is important to remember that only credentialed clean truck check testers may perform the visual inspection and submit the results. As the clean truck check tester, please log in to your tester account at cleantruckcheck.arb.ca.gov and follow the steps detailed in the training video on the Clean Truck Check program page. As we have now reached the end of this training, let's summarize what you have learned in this course. You have learned what vehicles require a visual inspection and why it is required. 
You have also learned how to conduct the inspection and report and submit the results.